Hey, man. What's up? Have you ever heard of Michael Fagan? Michael Fagan? Michael Fagan. Hold you- on. I have somehow one of my, what I hope is my wife's hair on my energy drink. Most likely, yeah. This is how I don't understand when these stories break of people who have gotten away with cheating for like years. Yeah. And it's like, dude, if my if I think about her, another hair will appear. You it's know what actually, I'm saying? Yeah, it's very accurate. I mean, like my car is full of body it's pins. Absurd. You cannot be yeah. around a female without just having hair everywhere. With that, it's like it's, <laughs> I think I think that's like a um, an evolutionary response that females to the develop. Fact that people cheat. Yeah, <laughs> to try to claim their their man or whatever, dude. Freaking, her stuff is just everywhere. You honestly, like, you might be onto something. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so sorry, I, I got distracted there. Is the AC <laughs> off? Am I, am I? Is it hot? Am I crazy? It's so hot. It's it is so, so hot, hot in, in here. here. They don't have a massive red light that <laughs> says <laughs> the queen. The hey, just go, just with, go it. with it. It's for the news. I'm trying to be on TV. <laughs> If they just go nude feet in my house, <laughs> I go Get out. cover that up. Get out of here. Things I learned last night. Michael Fagan, Fagan mm-hmm. whose name sounds vaguely familiar to me. Um, it's because I've mentioned him before. Is he the bad guy from Spy Kids One? <laughs> <laughs> you know that does sound like. Honestly, he kind of looks like it. You want to see a picture of him? Who is the bad guy from my oh, Dang it, we're here again. <laughs> uh, Flugan. 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 Michael. Flugan. Michael Fagan. Show me. This is Michael Fagan. Okay. Uh, he, you might know him by his title. Oh no. Uh, whoa. What are you? What are you worried about? I don't you know. I thought you were be like, you might know him as his title, Grandmaster, whatever. And I was like, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you might know him by his title, Intruder. <laughs> Intruder Michael Fagan. <laughs> yeah. What does that? Okay. It's kind of like Inspector Gadget. No. <laughs> Intruder Gadget is a thing we should absolutely do. I like that idea. I okay. Like that idea. Michael Fagan is famous um, uh, for uh, intruding. <laughs> for an intruding. Uh, a very significant place. Um, Wait, did he hop the fence in the White House one time? Was it that guy? Close. Um, and like, can you didn't name? It, wasn't there a guy on. that made it into the White House with like a knife and was just wandering the White House with a knife? Do you remember that? I've never. It heard was of during that. the Obama years. I have never heard. And he of that. like made it in the White House and was really? just in the hallways. And a staffer was like, "Hey, who are you?" <laughs> and he's in, like, "I'm on a tour." <laughs> White House with knife. Yeah, someone did it. This will put me on a list. Yeah, I will. And just White House with knife. 14 White Let's House be intrusion. Honest, you're already on yeah, a couple think, lists. Yeah, that's good. Omar J. Gonzalez. Uh, uh, yeah, he visited the U.S. Army. Or no, he enlisted. <laughs> he visited the U.S. Army. <laughs> he brought him a case of beer. <laughs> yeah, and he came in with a pocket knife. Um, which why Wait, was he wielding it, or did he have a pocket knife? Those are, that's a different story. That may have been blown out of proportion. Then. Yeah, he scaled the wall. Several agents pursued him. Uh, ran directly towards the doors, which were unlocked. <laughs> Seems like a miss. Um, well, I mean, honestly, if you've got armed security f- around a building all the time, what's the <laughs> lock on the door going to do? <laughs> like if that's what I'm saying, if Omar has his little pocket knife and he made it to the doors, what's the point of being like, oh man, they were locked. <laughs> you know, you've got snipers on the roof of this building 24 <laughs> seven and Omar made it yeah, to the doors, but if they locked the doors, he I think if he in. did that, he, he should have got to, he should have got to at least like cut Obama's leg or something, you know, Yeah, they actually said in a report that they didn't shoot him because he wasn't wielding a weapon, um, but they did say that his jacket was large enough to conceal a lot of explosives. That's the quote. Um, so um, yeah, but then you risk like shooting him and then you know, yeah, um, it sounds like he was wielding it. He he, uh, they fought, inter- they he inter- fought a service agent. They interviewed another, another sniper and he said he didn't shoot him because he didn't quote feel like it. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Whenever you think about giving a hundred percent of your job, just remember there's a couple snipers on top of the White House who just whatever date that was <laughs> weren't feeling it. Yeah, so he he uh, 
He ended up getting captured. So he had the knife in his pocket. It was a pocket knife in his pocket. Okay. okay, okay. So he wasn't wielding it, um, but they they took him to the hospital instead of jail because he was complaining of chest pains, which sounds like <laughs> it's a good way to get out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take me to jail. I have chest pains. Okay. Yeah. So this is not Michael Fagan. Yeah, this is a different Sorry, guy. Sorry, my this bad. They sound the same to me. <laughs> this is a different guy. Uh, let's see if you could name this building. This is the building he intruded upon. Do you know what that is? Is that Buckingham Palace? Let me give you another angle and see if you can tell. Oh, this is the Indiana State Capitol. <laughs> I remember this. We went there on a tour once. Is it Buckingham Palace? Yeah, it's Buckingham Palace. I'm I'm so Michael Fagan got in there. Yeah, so Michael Fagan, he's an intruder. The doors who, were unlocked. Who's I mean, when you got all those floofy hat guys out front, <laughs> who the, needs to lock the, the doors? Floofy yeah, the floofy <laughs> flag, the floofy <laughs> flag and finger guys. <laughs> no, uh, so it, it, in early July, 1982. Um, it, <laughs> in the Why middle- did we see a professional headshot of this guy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why did you have a professional headshot? <laughs> if, if he's only famous for sneaking he's into Buckingham Palace, intruding. he's famous for intruding. Okay. He also had a band. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got to look at his eyes. We're like everybody should have known this guy's going to break into Buckingham Palace. Why? <laughs> Okay, I'm curious how this is a full episode, but let's go for it. Is that man wearing in the back in the background? Is that man wearing a belt with sweatpants? <laughs> that is definitely a belt he's with wearing it, and they're not sweatpants. They're champion before champion was cool. Okay. They're old champion it's sweatpants. It's a Santa belt. It's a Santa Claus belt. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was his band. Are we going to listen to his band in the after the fiddle or something? No, we don't have any any recordings. They, they weren't a good, like a successful band. They weren't successful enough to record something. Is that why he intruded? Uh, is that what we're going to call it the whole time? The yeah. verb of he intruded. <laughs> he intruded. <laughs> he intruded. Did upon. he have a motive? I mean, we're going to get there, I guess. Yeah, I, we will. Um, so early July, 1982. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, call it the first. Um, he <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the night, um, he got very drunk and shimmied up a drain pipe uh, <laughs> to the roof. And got up to the roof, and l- thankfully, thankfully, he took off. Shimmied his, up a drain pipe. <laughs> he shimmied up a drain. How pipe. How big is the drain pipe? I mean, they're big. Like, look at the size of the palace. Like, like yeah, but I guess I'm thinking guess, of yeah, like. Let's get a closer. I shot. guess I'm thinking of gutters, you yeah. know, and the little. Yeah, see those big pillars? Those are drain pipes. No, they're not. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, he shimmied it up. It like he just got his head in, and then just went. No, he didn't get in the drain pipe, and he grabbed the outside of it. Oh, and climbed you know it what? Like, that makes a lot like a more sense. I thought he was the itsy bitsy <laughs> spider for a second. I thought he was just, you know, the itsy bitsy fagin went up the water spout. Down came the flu fat and shot him in the face. The story is a sad one, and this is where it ends. And Michael Flagan died that day. <laughs> Of that chest was, pain. <laughs> that was his song, and that he had shot in the heart and was like, oh, chest <laughs> pain. Oh shoot, dude! Take me to the hospital. So I, and that's it. That makes way more sense that he would he would climb the outside. <laughs> I, for some reason, my head was like he like head first into it and like like. Used his shoulders to wiggle his to, way yeah. up a drain pipe. Yeah, I your way. Shimmy. I guess the word shimmy does the imply shimmy, that it was. Yeah, he used his shoulders to push. You didn't say all climbed. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was me being dumb. <laughs> so he he climbed. A rare moment on this show. He climbed like uh like like old school lumberjacks up a redwood. Yeah. And then like climbed his way up, but it probably wasn't that wide. It was probably like more like a. <laughs> This is a visual bit <laughs> for our audio <laughs> podcast, but I like it. Go ahead. You want to describe it? Yeah, he's got his um, Tim. I, there's well, legs. I was going to say there's too. also stuff happening on the table, and I can feel it, <laughs> uh, but none of you can see or, or hear, hear what's happening. And honestly, that was that's where I'll leave it like that. 
You get it. He okay. climbed. He climbed a drain pipe. Yeah, he climbed a drain pipe. Gets to the roof. Gets to the roof. Sees a man with a fan <laughs> up there, <laughs> naked and green. Oh gosh! And he's like, he's like "Oh shoot! Should, I, pay should I be green? I forgot to paint myself." <laughs> yeah, but he's drunk, dude. He's, he's like, "Oh, he's, should I, I be forgot. green?" He he's thought like, that yeah. was. <laughs> He was like, you want to see a magic he's like, trick? He's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> On July 1st, 1982, <laughs> Michael Flagan met what Flagan. is possibly an alien on top of Buckingham Palace on a cold <laughs> July night. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cold July. It is. It's That's open. all right. Okay. Um, so he found he found an open window. We can get rid of this picture. Uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot I had it open. Found an open window. He found an open window. Climbed inside. He's drunk. Took, well, he took off his socks and shoes because he's polite. Yeah, he probably shouldn't have took his socks off. Or sh- yeah, should have left the socks. Taking the shoes off was polite. Taking the socks off was you're getting too Gross. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. If someone yeah. comes to my house and takes off, if they just go nude feet in my house, <laughs> I go get out. cover that up. Get, out of here. get your naked you, toes. Up. Please Have take I your told shoes you off. My leave wife your socks on. Call, she'll, she calls our cats toes beans, right? Because they look they like little beans, look like beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're in the store <laughs> of the grocery variety and we're just walking to the store and I had to fix my sock. My sock has fallen off my foot. So I take my shoe off and I'm fixing my sock and my toe slips out and she yells loudly <laughs> at a grocery store. <laughs> Jared, your beans are out. <laughs> 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 That's really had great. me scrambling. I, I was like, "Hey, don't say that! No, 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 like saw him climb to this window. So she ran to go get some guards, but he managed to escape the hall that hall before the guards arrived. So he was so she just looked crazy. Yeah, yeah, actually. They're like, yeah, there's no one here. They're like, yeah, they were it's like, haunted, dude. <laughs> she, they were like, they're like, they're like, how's some guy going to get up on the roof of Buckingham Palace? You stupid and maid. They, they degraded her. They, they, <laughs> was like, they, they freaking <laughs> talked down to her. What are you talking about? They kinda house. Did. Yeah, they, listen here. <laughs> they kind of did. <laughs> you don't know that. No, we know. <laughs> we know okay. they were guards. She was a housemaid. It was the 80s. Sure. We know. Um, and so he walked around the palace um, and he spent about a half an hour um, eating cheese and crackers. Got into the wine. Uh, what is it? Just out in the palace? White wine. Yeah, they, it's like they it's just like got Costco. charcuterie it's everywhere. Like Costco, which is like a sample. What, they got free sample people in the in the Buckingham Palace. What are you talking about? <laughs> he ate some Costco cheese. What, is he getting into their cupboards? <laughs> Yeah, I, I I assume I don't know. I don't. Here's the deal. That Christmas, he has a whole catalog out called Fagan's Favorites, <laughs> the taste of Buckingham Palace, and it's just him selling just blocks of cheese Jesus. and wines. And I've tasted what the royalty has. Here's the thing: the the import, like importing laws, were interesting because if Shut you didn't get a license, <laughs> Shut up. I hate this. <laughs> is he is he really just like? Is there just food out? I guess I just I I get he he claims he ate cheese. There and crackers. are over seven hundred rooms in Buckingham Palace, and so when you have that many rooms, there's probably I guess I didn't know multiple that. kitchens and cupboards places. Um, the so queen was, stayed in a new one every night. <laughs> you never knew which one she was in. <laughs> it's just freaking roulette, dude. Surprise! It's the queen. <laughs> yeah, and it really the, the maids freaked out because she slept naked. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so like they would do this. They would be like a game where they'd be like oh, 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 empty. There's not even a bed in this room. She's just hanging from the rafters upside, <laughs> upside down. down like a bat. <laughs> what? Butt naked. <laughs> Snorted loudly. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, she does that sometimes. That's how she lived so long. <laughs> That's the secret. People don't sleep upside down long enough. She's still alive at time of this recording. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're very far ahead <laughs> on our production. <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh my gosh, I'm crying. Um, <laughs> Dang, upside down. There's 700 rooms, so he's yeah. just going in. But he's just he managed to get to the post room. There's got to be like a bunch of secret tunnels in that building. You think? Oh, for sure. Um, he managed to get to the post room, meandered through some mail for a little bit, um, and then went to the throne room, sat on the throne for a little while. No, we did not. Uh, yeah, went to admired a bunch of. What portraits. does the throne room look like? Show me the throne room. Let's see. I said that like someone who has one. You know, say, show me the throne. Room. <laughs> yeah, you did whittle your With hand. With the weird, what stupid hand, the hand thing, thing they thing. do. Show me. This it's is this motion. is how Chris Angel fights in his show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not over it. Have you talked about that on the show yet? Have you? you well, I tried, and beef? I spent too much quote too much time. Oh, on it. I remember that. So we cut it to to put. Do you want to put it as a bonus? Yeah, you, you know what? I'm going to keep public? mentioning it. He was drunk the whole time and it was a bad show. Do not yeah. go if you go to Vegas, but Tim we went because Tim told us it was the highlight of his honeymoon and it was I stand by it. Okay. Yeah, um, Tim must have also been drunk the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you like this, we've got a lot of great ones. Let me recommend a recent one, Hitchbot. Uh, basically, some Canadian scientists said, what if we made a robot that hitchhiked across the country? You think it could make it? Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, it's a fun episode. I like it a lot. Uh, you need to check it out. One of my favorite recent jokes is in there, uh, so check that one out. But if not, thanks for being here. Here's uh, the throne room at Buckingham Palace, which honestly, not impressed. A little <laughs> underwhelming, to be real. Yeah, but if you look at the second chandelier on the right, that's where she hangs at night. <laughs> that's her right there. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it, I'm gonna tell you this. The I thought the throne would be bigger. I guess. Yeah, I would think so too. I mean, I guess the the, the ceiling. Like, okay, I'll say this. The top of the chairs. Is like where it gets interesting. You know what I'm saying? That but is the true. bottom of the chairs looks like a Baptist church it, stage. It really does. Like that <laughs> like three four step. Steps, yeah. Red carpeting. Yes. Yeah. And then even the carpet that's coming out from it, like that does look like that square carpet that you get in church. You play a lot. basketball on. They yeah. put a basketball goal up in this room. <laughs> this looks like uh wow. That's actually the curtain behind folds down and there's a hoop. How there. tall do you think those ceilings are? That's huge though. <clears throat> I mean that is that's yeah, like you're, you are ceilings. right. The ceilings are beautiful. The chandelier is crazy, but I, I, I'll say this every time I build a castle in Minecraft, the throne room is way better than this. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't have one. <laughs> if I had to guess how many okay. people how many people now have throne rooms? What I are mean, the odds? Okay, let's put them in our house. Well, okay, I could have one. Um, I could add one, but but I know, made a I sold too early. Well, I live <laughs> in an apartment dance. complex, and they have a two bedroom, two bath, but they've also got a two bedroom, two bath, and a throne <laughs> room. Throne. And, but like that one's like that one's it's thirteen thousand dollars a month. A lot more. And I don't. A lot I don't. More. I make good money. I make more than you, but like. <laughs> I don't make that much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I make that much, but I mean, you know, what I'm saying like I could afford, I could afford it. What are the odds that you just <laughs> convert your second bedroom into a throne room? Don't tell Reagan, and just let her come home one day, and you're in there. Well, throned I had up. that. You're remember, throned up. I had that throne. Remember that throne I had? To oh be yeah, yeah. For what my, was that for? It was, was for the for blue bit. check mark bit. Oh gosh, I forgot. Yeah, that we one. made that whole back when blue checks meant something. Yeah, I applied for one actually. Well, there you go. <laughs> See now, any old idiot can get one. Nah, I haven't got it yet. I got thirty days to get approved. No, I meant the, I can pay for it. The Instagram account called any old idiot <laughs> <laughs> verified. Um. Okay. An anyways, so he goes and sits on the throne. He sat on the throne long? for a little bit. I mean, he, he he's doing this pretty quick. Honestly, he was only there for around thirty minutes. Um, um, and how? I guess I thought there'd be like lasers and stuff. You well, know, he did trip three alarms. But okay. The guards kept turning them off. I was gonna say, thought, how does how does the museum that we talked to has the Gardner Museum have more security <laughs> than this than place? Valles. It doesn't. So they tripped the alarm. He tripped the alarm three times and the guards and just the kept guards turning were just off. like man, something's wrong with the alarms oh, tonight. Dang, <laughs> they just keep the alarms to keep tripping. <laughs> That's so like <laughs> dude and the security guards were making fun of the maid. <laughs> yeah. And then eventually he just waltzed his way back up to the roof to that window, climbed out the window, put his socks and shoes back on, slithered down the drain pipe. Slithered <laughs> first this time. Thank you. <laughs> and then 
left, scaled the wall and left. Um, <laughs> okay, but we don't know that. So we're going fully on his testimony. Well, yeah, this didn't. Happen. I mean, we're going this on the testimony happen. of the maid, the maid as well. Didn't and happen. Then him. Yeah, I guess h- h- him and the maid and the she saw a ghost. He, he, he and he the just, palace people. <laughs> the palace people. Yeah, all the people who just live in the palace walls. <laughs> they hear them. They they don't have eyes, but they hear really well. They hear so good they can make out faces. They don't have <laughs> eyes. <laughs> they hear so good. And they they're can. living off what sonar? <laughs> yeah, that's where it got the cheese from. <laughs> they're just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> They're communicating like whales. Well, wow, that's a terrible audio experience. I'm sorry for that. And then, yeah, and then they punched their head through the wall. And they were like, "Faggot, cheese," <laughs> and they gave a wall cheese. Wall cheese. <laughs> Every once in a while, just wakes up and she got a real long tongue. Or frog <laughs> is the AC <laughs> off? Am I, am I? Is it hot? Am I crazy? It's so hot. It's it is so, so hot, hot in, here. in here. It's so hot. In okay. Here. Um, <clears throat> we should turn the AC off and see how long we make it, dude. It's freaking ninety nine <laughs> degrees outside. Let's open the windows and just. It's so, then, so stuffy in here. Uh, then on seven a.m. July 9th, only a few days later, he's like, "I want to do it again." Uh, he climbs the the fourteen foot hall. This becomes his drunk thing. <laughs> he doesn't remember any of it the first time. Doesn't remember it at all. This becomes his like what he does. <laughs> so here's the thing: he climbs. He has to climb the perimeter wall before he can get in. So there's a perimeter wall that's Guys, fourteen where did feet Michael tall. Go? <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, he's at the palace I again. I know where he is. Ah. Oh. He's with the palace people. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to tell him it's not safe there at night. <laughs> That's why the guards kept turning it. They're like, I yeah, the go to those like, <laughs> No, dude. <laughs> not with the ghouls. <laughs> In rooms 594 <laughs> through 700. <laughs> That's the ghoul galley. <laughs> the ghoul galley. Um, so before he can even get to the palace, there's a perimeter wall. He's got a scale. It's 14 feet tall um, and it's topped with revolving spikes and barbed wire. No, it's not. Yeah, <laughs> they, picture. <laughs> Sorry, I said that like so I just demand like I'm a <laughs> two year old picture now show picture show me now. <laughs> <laughs> It's topped with rolling spikes like a freaking Indiana Jones cave. What are you talking about? <laughs> this man is scaling. He's drunk too. <laughs> he's so drunk. <laughs> Otherwise, he probably wouldn't try this because this is this. This looks like uh, when you're waiting in line at a theme park for a roller coaster ride, like what they've got for the ambiance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, if and he's get, drunkenly scaling this. Yeah, for the audio listen, listener, it's a fourteen foot wall with revolving spikes. And it's not. Wire. <laughs> uh, the spikes look like what are the like jacks that you throw? Yeah, they you know? do. Yeah, they do. And um, they're all lined up. There's no gaps. There is yeah. no way to get around this. Yeah. And, and then the barbed prob- wire is another seven feet, probably. Yeah, the barbed wire is really tall. And it's slanted. Yeah, it's slanted backwards. This is so, more than what you see at a prison. Yeah, this is like honestly, this is. Um, he should try out for American Ninja Warrior because, like, that's that's the scale of this. Except for it, like, it kills you if you mess up. And it's not electrified. It might be. It oh. looks like it. Look it at the spiral be. on the. I mean, this is more recent, so like maybe oh, they have electrified sure. it since this guy got in. Sure. Um, this was eighty two. Yeah, it looks electrified. Look at that cable running across the second one down. Yeah, yeah, I see that's that. electrified for sure. Interesting. Okay. Um. <laughs> So he scales this. So he scales this wall, gets over this, and no then, problem. Uh, climbs up his trusty old drain pipe, the same one as last time. Um, <clears throat> an alarm sensor actually senses his movements at this point before he even gets in. Uh, but again, the security guards are like, "Ah, it's, it's ah, broken, it's it's bats. busted." <laughs> <laughs> she must be flying around again. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. So the queen stays upside down, butt naked. <laughs> yeah, it flies around the loudly, castle at night. And then every once in a while, just. <laughs> yeah. 
and <laughs> and she sleep flies. <laughs> Dude, she doesn't know she she's can't, doing it. She can't do it she away. She doesn't know she's she doing it. Do it away. <laughs> she wakes up. She has no recollection. She doesn't remember any That's of it. That's like the secret of the royal family <laughs> is that they're all some weird like bat they're, hybrids. <laughs> they. They're they gotta wear those hats vampires. all the time to hide their horns, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't do it. They can't do it themselves. It's not on command. It's only in their. It's only in That's their. That's what head I'm saying. When they're asleep, <laughs> they used to be able to do it on command. That's how they got power. But, but now they're just the really years. hoping to hang on. Yeah. It's because they keep eating the wall cheese. The wall once cheese. Once Michael Fagan gets in there with the silver spike. <laughs> He doesn't know, but he's the hero. <laughs> well, but wait. he can only do it when he's drunk. He's tried <laughs> to climb the wall sober. Here's the story. Here's the fable, the Fagin fable, if you will. Long ago, there was a family who were bats, hybrid bats. <laughs> I think they they slept vampire. upside down. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going for. I didn't want to say that. Okay, I, don't, cool. I don't want the SEO to pick up that we're calling the queen vampy. Yeah, you know, that's a vampy queen. You so got she there. sleeps upside down. There's a yeah. different family, the Fagans, who have to who have a silver spike that's passed down generation to generation, and all it takes to gain power of Europe and take over the royal family is to kill one of them with a silver spike. But Michael Fagan's tried to get in to do it. He's tried yeah. to to finish yeah. his centuries long battle of these mm -hmm. two families, but he can't do it. Yeah. Unless he gets blackout drunk, <laughs> and then what happens is when he's drunk, he forgets that he's he on a mission. He's, there for. he's wandering around the he's castle, eating freaking cheese and crackers because he's cheese. hungry, you know. <laughs> and he's like, "Who oh, the, the voices tell me to eat cheese?" It's like, "Yeah, dude, <clears throat> that's <clears throat> the voices of her long lost relatives." <laughs> They're trying to protect the family. It's a whole thing. Have you not read the book? Your, your dying grandma has told you this your entire life, man. And so he's wandering the rooms mm -hmm. and she's just teleporting room to room. They can teleport <laughs> and they're going room to room. And she's and really what happened was, you know, the, he realized when he got in the, the silver spike had fallen down the drain pipe and into the sewage with the other family. Oh, no, there's a third family. There's a third. But you got to wait. You got to buy my new book to find out about that. <laughs> What is the other family? Rats? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I like this. Uh, you're shockingly close. Yeah, I mean, like, the, but the book is called <laughs> Through the Eyes of Sergeant Winslow. <laughs> Through the Eyes of Sergeant Fagan. <laughs> He was a CIA operative. <laughs> Gone rogue. <laughs> they taught him how to kill, but not how to love. <laughs> I like this story. I like where this is going. <laughs> um, you can have it when you write your novels or whatever. Cool. Taken. <laughs> hey, I support your dreams. Hey, uh, you don't have to. Um, so he trips us an alarm this time before he even gets up the, the drain pipe. Yeah. But again, they're like, oh, it's broken. Uh, so they turn it off and, and go about their business. Sure. He gets up there, gets to the roof. This time he doesn't take his shoes off. He's feeling rude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he just can't untie him. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, can't figure out. They're so tight. <laughs> what's on my feet right now? <laughs> when he was sober, that was it was him trying to prepare. Yeah, he was like, I'm gonna get really drunk and take my shoes off. That was my mistake last that was time. My mistake last time. There's sticky notes all over his shoes, mm -hmm. telling him his mission. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> okay, I like that he has a dual <laughs> consciousness. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Don't forget your mission. But he doesn't know what that is. He looks at the sticky note. He's like, he's like, ah, oh, yes. He's like, Wall I, ha geez. I have permission. <laughs> I have permission. <laughs> this says I have permission to, to be, be here. here. <laughs> my dad said I can. <laughs> this is my permission. <laughs> dad, I need to talk to you. Um, <laughs> I need to talk I need to, to you. Talk to you. <laughs> I like the queen. <laughs> I know. I, don't like yeah. it. I need okay, her. Okay. I need her. <laughs> so, so he gets into the into the palace again. He's walking around the palace, and uh, here's the deal. Here's the thing. Um, he's very drunk. Yeah. Um, he sees the maid. Well, he doesn't see a maid this time, but he realizes. He has to pee, and so he starts running around the palace looking for a bathroom. How many bathrooms? Seven hundred seventy rooms, four bathrooms. No, <laughs> I don't know how many bathrooms. How many bathrooms does Buckingham <laughs> Palace have? 
have any bathrooms in Bucking. It's a 700, 300 and a half. <laughs> 78. 78 bathrooms? Yeah, 78 bathrooms. That ratio is pretty rough, to be honest. Yeah. 775 rooms, not 775 bedrooms. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I guess the throne bedrooms. room is a room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 19 state rooms, 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 188 <laughs> staff bedrooms, 99 offices, 78 bathrooms, 55 french fries, 55 burgers, 55 pizzas, 100 slushies. <laughs> 100 what? <laughs> did, you, did you even listen to the last You event? said pizzas and slushies. Yeah, I said 55 burgers, 55 french fries, 55 okay. hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you totally missed it. <laughs> oh, 55 burgers. <laughs> Stupid. I told you I was writing a bit about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. have the I have the drive-through bit right now and I was like going to do a dang. <clears throat> I saw that. Good stuff. Yeah, that's a good. That's yeah, that's a good bit. two references in a row that we're not going to tell you. Those are <laughs> if you get them, you get them, and if you don't, yeah. bummer. Uh, sorry for you. Join uh, our Discord. We'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me again. Thanks for being here for this episode. Uh, if you like what we're doing, it does cost us money to do this, uh, and so just think about that. You know, that's it. Uh, I'm kidding. No, uh, we have Patreon supporters, and it really helps us to make this show possible. Honestly, we're so grateful for everyone who listens to the show. Uh, but there's uh, there's people who um, want to make more of it happen, and so they financially support the show. And, and you get a lot back for it. You get our private Discord uh, where we chat every day. We're hanging out and just getting to bond and hang out. We also do live Zoom hangouts for our Patreon supporters. You get exclusive merch. Uh, it's a good time. There's a lot, there's a lot in it for you, um, and it, and it's. A lot in it for us because we get to know you better. You know, you're not just a, a number in a stat board or whatever, but you know, you're our friends and we appreciate you a lot. So consider doing that. Um, if not, then you can listen to this dumb little ad because that's how we're going to get money from you. <laughs> we're going to leech from you either way. We're going to get paid. We're in this for the cold hard cash, baby. <laughs> Anyway, here's an ad. How do they how do they get it though? I realized I forgot to put a CTA in mind. Oh, damn, you were doing it. Yeah, they can text Tillin to six six eight six six. Thanks, Jaren. Uh, so the uh, uh, he starts rushing around the palace looking for one of those seventy eight bathrooms. He's asking the walls, guys, guys, where do I where do I pee? <laughs> He's running down the Jeez. halls, going. Jeez. Jeez. He's like, yeah, 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 pee, pee, and they're like, cheese, <laughs> you know. <laughs> He's eating so much cheese looking for this bathroom. It's like it's not even good anymore, but I can't stop. I can't. Uh, yeah. Um, finally, he finds uh, the, somebody turned the air off. The, it, it is hot. It's so hot. He finds the royal dog food um, <laughs> and uh, he's like, this is my only option and pees in the dog food. <laughs> he pees in the dog food because <laughs> he had no other options. <laughs> Apparently, I think he just that I think sounds probably like a closer bathroom. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> sounds like terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like one of the things that like a scary, crazy neighbor would do to you. Be like, <laughs> you know, you'd be like having this feud with your neighbor, yeah. and he'd be like, "You take your trash cans in. I swear, I'm gonna." Whatever, and then like all of a sudden, a couple weeks later, he goes, "I peed in your dog's food," and you go, "What?" <laughs> I said, "I, I peed, peed in, in your dog's, dog's food." food. <laughs> and you're like, "Yeah, you owned me, dude. Freaking got me. You got me. I'm gonna throw that away now." Your dogs <laughs> are eating my urine. My pee like, kibble. Jeez, man. <laughs> Pirina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're a scary person. That's what I'm saying. You would, you know? Here's the thing about Buckingham Palace. Yeah. When you're walking down the palace halls, there's <laughs> a lot of rooms, right? Yeah. So these rooms are labeled. Lots of rooms. L lots and lots of rooms. And a big, big table. <laughs> big, big table. And the back with lots and lots of food. <laughs> I'm not going to keep this going. How big was the backyard, going. Tim? <laughs> it was. It's. It's the could UK. We play. You could not. It was the UK. You could play football. You could not. You could not. And not in this you backyard. Could, and, and we could play football. Goal. See, it's different. I'm not mm. gonna. Oh gosh. Do they shout goal over there when they sing that song? Instead of touchdown. 
I don't think they sing that song over there. You don't think they're going? It's a big, big house <laughs> with lots and lots of rooms. <laughs> a big, big table with lots and lots. Of keep going, keep going. It's a big, big yard. <laughs> well, we could play football. <laughs> a big, big house. <laughs> it's my father's house. You don't think so? It's a pretty big yard. <laughs> 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 I'm only just now realizing that they used Buckingham Palace for Richie Rich, like in the Disney in the Disney yeah. original this movie. This honestly also might be the house at the end of National Treasure that he drives the Lamborghini up yeah, to. It's true. Or Ferrari or whatever he gets at the end. It's crazy. There's always that many floofy hat guys outside. <laughs> and not one of you see there's guys on the roof. That's what I'm saying. There's snipers on the roof. Yeah, there are now. This changed that. Oh, hey, you can see the queen flying over there. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, so here's the thing. When you have a room that big, you label your rooms because no one's going to all the halls look the same. And so you're walking through the hall and there's Princess Diana's room. There's some other royal person's room. Oh, I guess and it is 80s. Yeah. I was like, whoa, okay. And then there's Queen Elizabeth II. They have and signs? Yeah, because because everyone's you're not gonna remember. And he goes, QE2? <laughs> <laughs> so he meanders into the room. No. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is the size of a the size of home we're ta- dealing with here. Yeah, it's not a you walk through the door and you're in the room. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, yeah, a yeah, vestibule yeah. if you will yeah. a foyer. She's got a lobby with an assistant. Yeah, yeah, and so he walks in the room and there's like a little seating area with an ashtray and it's like an ornate like crystal ashtray and so he decides I'm gonna play with that. I'm gonna break it <laughs> and so he's just playing with that for a bit and he drops it and I threw it on the ground <laughs> he drops it and it shatters. So I threw it on the ground. You know they do that over there too. <laughs> he drops wakes it. the queen up. No one else. <laughs> he drops it and it shatters and instead of instead of like being like oh bummer he just starts trying to pick it all up and he cuts his hands open and so he starts bleeding from the hands but he's like, he's like, I you're telling me he can make it through the spikes and the barbed wire, but when it comes to a broken ashtray, <laughs> this is where he is injured. <laughs> yeah, so he, his hands get all bloody. He picks up one of the shards of glass and he carries it into the room and so he opens up the room and walks in the room. With now the you're guilty of bloody hands, <laughs> bloody literally hands. red handed <laughs> with a shard of glass in your hand. That looks like you're going to kill the queen and so he walks in the room and Queen Elizabeth the second asleep in her bed still the shattering glass didn't wake her up. The vestibule was large enough, I guess, that it swallowed the sound. Um, and so he walks into her room and she's sleeping in bed at 7 a.m. She sleeps late, apparently. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> what did she got to do that day? <laughs> she's been up all night. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's he's meandering around a room, kind of exploring what does Queen Elizabeth have in her room? And he's here's here's the direct no, quote. No, there's no way here's, this is real. Here's the direct quote. He disturbs a curtain and it allows some sunlight into the room and that sunlight wakes her up. Um, this is not real and it wakes her up and she sees this dude standing in her curtains dripping blood <laughs> from his dripping hands blood holding this glass shard <laughs> and so she grabs the phone and starts calling security calls three times and he goes <laughs> hey hey he says the prophecy <laughs> hey I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. You've been having some chest pains lately. <laughs> <laughs> you know, say like what the freaking so she calls security and security doesn't answer. She calls three times security. You're telling answer. me <laughs> in the security office. <laughs> they don't have a massive red light that <laughs> says the queen the queen's bedroom. <laughs> no, they're sitting there. They're sitting the there. The main person they're is calling. There. Here's the security and it's just He's like he's got his magazine. This is Princess Diana dies in a car accident. He's like <laughs> <laughs> He's like wait a minute. <laughs> he goes, "No, this looks good. Send us to print." We haven't done it yet, but send it to print. <laughs> you're, not, you're still trying to do the phone. Noise. 
And he thinks it's the sonar. He thinks it's the sonar. It's the He's, sonar. Oh my God. He's like. <laughs> He's like. Take, take the cheese. Take the cheese. Take, take it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, she calls security three times. No one, no one answers. So Does it go she, to voicemail for security? So she yells, "Get out!" To which Michael Fagan drunkenly mumbles something, but doesn't actually leave. And then, so she runs into the hall and finds like a housemate, and they run and get security. And security comes, and sure enough, this dude's standing there, bloody hands, broken glass, tangled in the curtains. <laughs> He's tangled in. The, he can get over the fourteen foot wall. Rotating spikes. <clears throat> Barbed wire is that last round at the pub. The pub was just starting to hit him, but you run into a good <laughs> set of curtains, <laughs> curtains and that's man. where and that's invest why it's important in to invest in curtains. <laughs> and when I say curtains, I don't mean cur- I need I mean like drapery like we need right. something full full body tangleable. <laughs> These are some very not tangleable. Is your <laughs> home security <laughs> uncertain? <laughs> Fix it with our curtains. Go to go, go to Tim and Jaren curtains dot com <laughs> right now. I wish we had an like an in house photographer. I so wish we, we could had make these websites a like way to do an e commerce store to set up some good curtains. Yeah. Oh, a fourth wall might have curtains. <laughs> some branded curtains. We can make a request. <laughs> Are those curtains on display somewhere as the hero of the 82 <laughs> intruder? So they got him. They got him. They removed him from the palace grounds. Um and uh he had to cut the curtains. <laughs> he was, was so tangled up that he had to cut the curtains <laughs> and he took them with him. Um and so there was there was some issues, obviously. Um they uh uh the um, William Whitelaw was the officer on duty, like the lead security sure. officer on duty. Fired. He was fired, um, but Margaret Thatcher came back and was like, "No, he's fine. Um, let him continue." Which seems like <laughs> she had a plan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's sketch. And so he got his job back. Um, uh, and so, for some reason, at the time. Uh, whatever M- Michael Fagan did was not considered criminal offenses um, and said they were civil defenses offenses. And so he paid some fines. Um, his largest offense was actually stealing Being the wine. near the queen. No, his largest offense <laughs> was actually stealing the wine. You know, it's illegal to be within 10 feet of her. No, it's not. Yeah. Legally, how close can I get to the queen? <laughs> Put me on the list. Is there a real law? Uh, so <clears throat> the Queen's COVID nineteen policy. What are you looking at right now? So, okay, there's a couple of things here. Um, one, um, there is a cardinal rule, which is not technically. A law, but you have to walk behind the queen. You can never walk in front of her yeah. or beside her. Um, and then, since 1993, visitors have been allowed to roam the palace, um, but following the queen's death, they don't allow that anymore. Now that she's dead, you guys can't come in here. Yeah, we gotta but make once sure she was here. Yeah, and they were like, remember when? Remember when that one time someone did that? And it was really funny. Well, it's because she's, <laughs> you know. Dead. dead. <laughs> they don't know where she is. She's you know? flying around there. Yeah, she's been released from her mortal body, so now I, she flies I, around <clears throat> indefinitely. <laughs> there was a whenever she died, there was a story of uh, I forget who it was, but it was like an official in the government walking with her somewhere, mm-hmm. and this couple on holiday uh, sees them, and they recognize him, and they're talking about how he's been working for the queen. 
and all this stuff, but they didn't recognize her. And so they had her take a picture. Uh, she was like, I'll take the picture and took a picture of them with this guy because he worked with the queen and they were like, thank you so much. You sweet old lady. <laughs> That's not true. I, no I, I don't know. I, That's hilarious. I love that. Um, anyways, so he, he Reagan got, did that at Disney with who your little bit that you like where you're like, oh yeah, I'll take a picture. She did that at Disney where some people recognized the two of us. Yeah. And uh, they're like, can we get a picture? And she said, yeah. And then handed me their phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. That's really they, funny. And they hold their phone. No, really she funny. takes it and goes, thank you. And then made me take a picture of, <laughs> of them and her. <laughs> That's really funny. I like that a lot. Did you take a picture with them after that? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Yeah. And then I drove a silver spike. <laughs> It was just a civil of, civil offense. Um, he actually only got charged with stealing the wine, um, but that charge <laughs> ended up later getting dropped. Um, but I mean, how much is palace wine worth? That might still be well in, in, in a later interview. He said it was a cheap Californian. Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, but he it got dropped because they That's what we used to call Reagan's landlord. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cheap. Californian. You know, I mean, yeah, that's not going to get fixed. Uh, landlords are cheap Californian. Yep, so, yep, yep. Um, so uh, he was it, the charges got dropped because they committed him for a psychiatric evaluation, and so uh, he got examined for that, and they decided he was just drunk. Um, oh, interesting. <laughs> no, he spent three months in a psychiatric hospital. Was released in January 1983. Jeez. Um, <clears throat> and then um, the rest of his life was kind of uneventful, except for two things. He fought a police guard and went to jail for a little bit after that. And then um, he went to prison for three years for a conspiracy to sell heroin. Um, but other oh, than so that, he did not very just, uneventful okay. life after that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No conspiracy more to sell heroin. Yeah. Yeah. So nothing major in his life. Um, there was an episode of the queen or the crown, not the queen, the crown. Netflix is the crown. Oh, that had this where a Michael Fagan breaks into the palace uh, to meet the queen and have a word with her because he was worried about Margaret Thrasher's leadership. Oh, um, but that wasn't really that wasn't what happened. He was just a drunk, <laughs> <laughs> oh. but they adapted it to be like, oh, he wanted to talk to her about policy and stuff. And held he, her hostage with a broken he like, ashtray. He was like, this is the only way um, and they have like a heart to heart in the show. Um, and oh, do uh, they? Yeah, she wakes up. She goes, well, security is not answering. <laughs> she goes, well, what are your biggest fears? Yeah, <laughs> why are you here? Like she's <laughs> she's going to hostage negotiate her way out. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, honestly, I just needed to feel hurt. <laughs> Thank you, queen. Thanks, queen. Thanks, um, queen. <laughs> Thanks, he goes, queen. <laughs> I like oh, the sound gosh. of that. You know what I hope happens? <laughs> I hope that there's a stupid movie made where the cl the queen kills one of the demons or whatever you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then another character goes slay queen and I just <laughs> I <laughs> resent the fact that I know that movie would get funding before whatever projects we want, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so anyways, so anyways that's the life that's the of life <laughs> okay. He's, he's What's he? Did he die now? How old? Is no, he? he's still alive. He still does interviews. Um, he's, he's just an never old guy. asked. He's never asked to do them, but he does them. <laughs> yeah, he just breaks into the newsroom. <laughs> he's like, hey guys, it's me, Michael Figgin, intruder. And they're like, yeah. They're like, yeah. yeah we know. You're doing. Hey, you we are intruding. <laughs> Put the glass down, buddy. He's got his own, he's got his own super suit. <laughs> It's just the curtain from the he just, palace. He know he just bought an incredible super suit in the eye. He's like it stands for intruder. And like, it's, it's, a, no, it's an incredible Halloween movie, costume, Michael. Michael. <laughs> you know, and he's like, no, just, just you're supposed to. Hey, just go, just with, go it. with it. It's for the news. I'm trying to be on TV. <laughs> So that's all he did. That's all he did. Yeah, that's Michael Fink. Wow, he's the intruder uh, who successfully broke into Buckingham Palace What's twice. What's Buckingham Palace's address? Um, Buckingham Palace is located at. I assumed that would be the top of the Wikipedia page, but apparently it's not. So let's just search Buckingham Palace address. address. You're on so many watch lists, dude. <laughs> 
How close can I get to the queen without it being illegal? <laughs> Buckingham Palace address. <laughs> uh, it's literally London SW one A one double A UK. I don't know how the UK does addresses, but that's wrong. So <laughs> he is the intruder of London SWA one WA UK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh. It's not doesn't flow as well as the watcher, but <laughs> the watch. all hail the intruder. <laughs> all hail the intruder. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Okay. I love this guy. I just love the fact that honestly, the same thing you said that he got over that wall, but it was the drapes, the drapes that did him in. <laughs> the drapes of wrath, <laughs> you know? What's crazy is that to this day you can take Buckingham Palace tours. Yeah, you know. Well, you can't anymore. Yes, you can no, if you, you have enough money. Mm. Yeah, dude, they let the rich people fiddle off the queen. Hey, uh, thanks for checking out this episode. Uh, if you liked it, you can subscribe or watch some more episodes or some clips. Um, but then I, I need to make this like 20 seconds. My producer said it has to be longer, so I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit. And is this long enough, Connor? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here.